and what we need to do is configure the project. So first off, it's telling you to create a folder called Angular 2 dash quick start. Right? So let's just see where I am. Desktop. Alright, so let's make that directory Angular 2 quick start. Right. Let's go inside that directory. Make dir. You know, I know some of you guys might be feeling kind of scared because you're on the terminal now. So, you know, don't get too intimidated. Over time, you're gonna start to understand how exactly to work this thing. You know, especially when you're on the main stack. So don't be too intimidated by it. Just try to pick up and just try to follow me for now. Okay. So make dir means make directory. Right. We made the directory called Angular two dash quick start. Alright, so let's go into it. Angular 2 quick start. Alright, so we are now inside the Angular 2 quick start folder as you can see. PWD path that we're on. Okay. So now we gotta create the files that are needed to get this thing up and running. Alright, so we're gonna have a package.json file. And that's where NPM comes in really handy. Right? because it's going to install all these dependencies for you when you type in npm install. All right, so let's copy this to the clipboard and let's make those files. So nano, what is it called? Package.json. Right, and there we are. We're right inside the file. Let's just copy and paste what all this is. Get out of there. Done. Alright, so nano, the next one, tsconfig.json, right, copy and paste that, done, next one is typings.json, nano typings.json, make sure you get the spelling right, right, because it's going to be looking for it, so paste that, Done. And then systemjs.config.js. Copy and paste that. Make sure you get it right. Nano systemjs.config.js. Copy and paste that. Done. Okay, so that's the four files that we need. And going on to the next step npm install right so if you've successfully installed npm you should be able to do this step npm install there it is so it's starting to install all the dependencies that are listed within this package.json file right so that's what's going on it may take a bit let's just look forward and see the next few steps while it's doing that your application that's what we're going to do next so it's telling us we have to make a directory called app right and this is done and we have to make these files called app.module.ts right within that directory app.component.ts right and we'll explain what all this stuff means later but right now all I really want to do is get you guys up and running and from there, you know, when we start playing with the code, you guys are going to fully understand all of this stuff, right? But for now, let's just do the basic essentials, get this thing up and running. Almost there. O dash. Okay. So that went well. So let's see what we have here. Good. It actually had that typing. It was warning us that if the typings folder doesn't show up after running npm install, just run it manually. Right? So let's make that directory called app. Make dir app. Let's go inside. And one thing about the terminal, you could actually execute these commands in one go, right? But I'm just trying to keep it simple because I know some of you guys, uh, you know, you've never actually played with the terminal before. So, 
gonna take it slow. App.module.ts, right? I'm creating that file because we're now inside the app directory. And then copy and paste out of there. Right? And make this one now. Nano app.component.ts. Copy and paste that. Get out of there. And it's telling us edit the file, right? Because there's a few steps that were made here where they've added a component, and now we want it to show up in the app.module.ts, right? So let's go into and edit our app.module.ts, right? And the steps that were made was we added the app component. Browser module to added declarations and bootstrap. Okay. That. that there. Okay, and then everything else seems to be fine. Just exactly like that. Okay, cool. So that's done. Remember, we edited the app.module.ts. We didn't create a new one, right? So, as you can see, I only have one. So, I didn't recreate the file and anything like that. So, don't get it confused. Right? There was an extra step there that I missed, that I missed, and I didn't actually see that they edited it after. But regardless, that's basically how it should look. Okay. So we're almost there. Now we have to make our main TypeScript file. Right, so let's create that nano main.ts. Right now, you guys should be pretty familiar with this nano command. Uh, copy and paste that. Get out. And to get out of a file in terminal, it's Control X. Okay. Um, what else do we need here? Now we're going to go back to our root directory. See, it says in the project folder, and we're going to create that index.html file. Right? This is what's going to load onto the screen. The view okay so cd let's go back a directory right we're back in angular 2 dash quick start we're gonna create an index.html file copy and paste that get out of there right so that's done and let's add some styling let's use the css style so nano styles.css Copy and paste that. Yes. And that should be it. And there it is, npm start. So let's run this bad boy and let's see what happens. Alright, so it's installed. It seems to be working out fine. And just like that, you have your first Angular 2 app. Alright, let's get to code.